Friedrich Bayer was born in a time of change. Europe was in the throes of the Industrial Revolution. The mechanical loom was turning fabric into a commodity. Colored fabrics, though, were still a luxury reserved for the privileged. Rapid progress in chemistry subsequently enabled synthetic dye stuffs to be developed, colors which were cheaper, better, and brighter than the organic dyes used previously. Bayer, a chemicals merchant by profession, seized the opportunity and, together with dyer Johann Friedrich Westcott, developed new and better synthetic dye stuffs. The general partnership Friedrich Bayer & Company was born in Wuppertal in 1863. The company's first factory was the family kitchen. Ja, so ist es hier bei uns. Einmal mit Sprit ausziehen. Ich mehr dazu. Aniline Violett. Soon, new manufacturing premises were opened, workers were hired, and overseas business started up in America. Branch offices in China, Japan, and India followed. Bayer grew relentlessly. Less than 20 years after the company had been set up, its workforce had already multiplied a hundredfold. The factory in the Eberfeld district of Wuppertal was bursting at the seams. The first patent was submitted in 1882, and research and development became ever more important. Under Carl Duisberg's management, a pace-setting scientific laboratory was set up. The pharmaceutical department was established in 1888. Phenacetin was the first synthetic fever-lowering drug on the market, followed four years later by the insecticide anatonin. Aspirin, the drug of the century, arrived in 1899. At the turn of the century, Carl Duisburg was appointed member of the management board. He planned the new site in Leverkusen, the structures of which still exist today. The move to the new headquarters was completed in 1912. At that point, Bayer had some 10,000 employees and was active worldwide with 18 subsidiaries and manufacturing sites.